I spent the better part of my real estate life looking at the way homes were sold, which typically it's this. Number one, you list a home. Number two, you put up a sign. Number three, you put it in MLS. Number four, you do some advertising, either online or print. And number five, you may or may not hold some open houses. And then you just really hope that that home sells before the sellers cancel, before it expires. And you're always saying to yourself, I sure wish they would reduce the price. Because the reason it's not selling is not my fault, it's their fault because they've got the price too high. Let me ask you a question. If a brand new iPhone came out and rather than building the hype and leaking it out and seeing it here and all this stuff and here's when it'll be introduced and that's 12 days from now and you can get pre-orders in and all that stuff, instead of doing all that, instead of doing all that, if they put it on the shelf today at noon and then told us it was there, hey, we've got a new iPhone, come on over. Do you think their iPhone sales would be higher or lower? Do you think they'd still get the same price if they did it that way? Do you realize that in the real estate industry that Apple puts more thought and more strategy by far into selling a $500 iPhone than we do into selling a $500,000 home? I teach that every agent, and all of you should, I would ask you to consider doing this, should build what I call a VIP inner circle of agents. A VIP inner circle of agents. And here's all you do. I call you and I say, hey, my name's Greg Haig and I know I sell in your market, you sell in your market. When I list a property, would you like it if I gave you a call before I put up a sign, before I put it in MLS, so if you have any buyers that are interested in this neighborhood you've lived in for 22 years, if you have any buyers who are interested, you can actually get them out and show them the home before it's officially on the market. Building anticipation, building excitement, because buyers always, always pay more for a home when it's brand new and fresh on the market than if it's like six months old. You're going to move your needle like you can't even believe. And as part of that, you're going to be more excited about waking up in the morning in real estate than you've ever been.